Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Google Tag Manager. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the AdWords remarketing tag. What does remarketing mean in general? Google AdWords is one of the platforms which allows you to advertise on Google Networks or on Google Search Engine. And it also allows you to retarget people who visited your website. So if somebody goes to your homepage interested in looking at one of your pages, you can retarget them or in Google AdWords terms, remarket them so that when they go to any of Google networks, their, your ad will show again in front of their face. It's a very good way of uh, getting back into the face of your customer. And it's a very uh, complicated and I would say complex uh, way because there are so many ways you could do it and you could target people that come to a particular page or people who visit your product page or even people who just abandoned your cart. And I'm not going to get into the detail of the remarketing tag in general, but I will show you how to implement the tag using Google Tag Manager. So instead of the traditional way of going to Google uh, AdWords and copying the code and putting it or placing it within your homepage, we're going to do it seamlessly using Google Tag Manager. Let's get started. Remember, this will be done using two parts. Part one will be done through Google AdWords interface, and the second part will be done using the Google Tag Manager. If I go now to Google AdWords, I need to create the remarketing uh, list for the first time, and you do that by going on the left-hand side to the shared library. As you can see here, I have a variety of things. I need to go to the audience and click on the audience right here on the view. Remember, this is being done for the first time. Website visitors set up remarketing. This is exactly where you need to go in order to set up your remarketing. Here, Google AdWords asks me if I want to be using dynamic ads. And this means that if people visit my website, I will show them their ads while they browse the web. Exactly what remarketing tag is, but this is more of a complex uh, methodology. So I'm going to ignore it for now, and I'm going to say set up remarketing. And then Google AdWords asks me if if I want to get instructions via email, which I don't at the moment, and I'm going to say continue. And there you go. A very simple way of starting into remarketing. Had I chosen the checkbox that was uh, suggested for me a while ago, a bunch of other remarketing lists would have been created automatically for me, but that's the subject of another video. For today's video, we're keeping it simple, and this is the basic thing that you need to see here is all visitors, where you're basically targeting people who have visited your homepage or any of your web pages. Now, the important part in the Google AdWords is to grab the installation tag. So you go here by clicking on uh, tag details and then set up. And if you can see here, view, um, view AdWords for websites, this is what you would generally copy and paste into uh, the footer of your uh, web page installation, such as WordPress or any other uh, installation. But for the sake of using it within Google Tag Manager, you don't need all this. All you need is the simple conversion ID that you see right here, which is this number. So for the simplicity, I'm just going to copy and get that number. There it is. You could actually see it in, I should have used a text editor. In fact, let me do that right away. I think it's easier if you just go to Notepad. And let's copy the whole thing so that we understand it slightly. 
So really the code that we're looking for here is what I'm highlighting and this is the ID that we need. I'm going to copy it and now I'm going away from uh, AdWords and logging into my Google Tag Manager. And before I start creating the tag, which will fire as a remarketing tag on all of my pages, I'm going to be a little bit smart by creating a variable. I have talked about this before and in a previous video, if you want to know which video, I'll put a link to it on this uh, slide. Basically, we are going to create a user-defined variable that helps you a lot when you are going to reuse that same number or that same conversion ID on multiple tags. So I'm going to create new and the variable name which I will choose is GA conver conversion ID. I click on the configuration part and it's a constant, so I'm going to scroll down until I see constant and I will give it the value of the ID which I just grabbed from Google AdWords and I'm going to save and that's it, it's created for me for reuse whenever I want now I'm going directly to tags and this is pretty simple by the way on the 29th of August 2016 Google AdWords in, uh, released a bunch of enhancements to the interface and also to the back end of, uh, of that platform of Google, Ad, uh, of Google Tag Manager platform and it's very uh, I would say interesting um, it's a bit different so you might find it a little bit challenging in the beginning but as you get to use the interface more you would appreciate it and I will have a special video around the reaction to the changes uh, of Google Tag Manager but for now let's click on new to start a new tag and I'm going to give it the um, the simple name of AdWords Remar remarketing tag or remarketing it doesn't matter and here's what uh, Google interface uh, Google Tag Manager interface have changed um, for now you can click on tag configuration and here are my options I'm going directly to the fourth option which specifically says Google AdWords um, remarketing and this is where you need to uh, specify the conversion ID. I could have pasted the number as is, but I would like to uh, use the variables. So the variable I just created is conversion ID. And this is pretty much it. Now, where does it need to get fired or triggered? And it needs to get fired on all of my pages. This is what I wish. I wish that whoever visits any of my home pages, I want to um, follow them through uh, other Google uh, network displays. And so I'm going to hit on save. I really don't like that sometimes. I don't like to put tag on every tag because we know it's a tag. So hitting save. And there it is. It's right here in my list of tags. The next thing is you could, if you wish, uh, preview it and then browse to your page and see if the remarketing tag has been fired. Uh, I'm pretty much sure it's it's complete so I'm going to go ahead and hit on publish and now this is one of the changes that uh, got released with Google Tag Manager's new interface is there is the concept of workspaces and I will explain that in detail for, but for now it's basically asking me to give a description of what changes did I do so in case I wanted to revert back to a previous uh, version I could actually do that it's uh, it's basically saying uh, or giving the indication for myself okay uh, I did updates or let's be more specific added the uh, remarketing tag. Remember there are multiple remarketing tags so you need to be specific. I would say added Google remarketing tag. If you want to be more detailed you can do that in the description and I would hit on publish. 
And there you go. My changes have been implemented and I have my conversion variable published as well as the new tag, which is the AdWords remarketing. Going forward, every time somebody visits my homepage, I will know about it because uh, the way remarketing uh, by AdWords work is it fires or it drops a cookie on the user's uh, on the user's browser and then it knows them and it's able to retarget them or in Google AdWords terms remarket them by showing my ad over and over um, on Google search and also in the display network so any of the home pages which uh, basically publishes ads through the AdSense of Google. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next video, we will talk about more details of Google Tag Manager and how to implement them. Have a great day and don't forget, always, always uh, join us and sign up for a free account with Webox so that you can know more details about web development. Until the new video, take care. Bye-bye.